When you think of Comic-Con, there's cosplay, and lots of it. But taking on the role of a superhero can be stressful. One group hopes to change that, creating a safe space for everyone to enjoy. Here's how we can fall in love with fitness while having a little fun along the way. To me, cost positivity is freeing yourself from any expectations of who you're supposed to be so that you can fully embrace yourself in the character that you're trying to get to. There is a lot of expectations within the cosplay com uh, community that, you know, at times are racist, homophobic, transphobic, ableist, you name it, where we need to ad address that, you know, just because you, the, a character is drawn a certain way doesn't mean that it's supposed to be that way. We're all dressed as like, you know, superheroes and deities and adventurers <laughs> and evil supervillains. <laughs> Live in it! <laughs> you know, embody the confidence, embody the, embody the love you know they have for themselves. You can modify to work within whatever makes you comfortable, because remember, it's always what you, your comfort first in regards to cosplay. Let's talk about the fact that the majority of women, especially, are size 16 or above. Oh, yes. And okay. they're not going to fit that one size fits most. So most of what? One size fits what? What is most, yeah. you know, in our world and our society at this point? And it's, the good thing is it's starting to change. And we're seeing When people want to start their fitness journeys or they want to start doing something that is different or they're afraid, I think it's important to know, one, you're capable of more than you think you are, and two, you got to start loving the person you are at this moment to move forward mentally in that journey. There's a lot of great things about po body positivity for the people that it works for, and I'm really happy that it exists, of course. But for me, body neutrality speaks more to me because it's more about just meeting yourself where you are day to day, and it's more about just accepting your body for what it is and allowing for that to change. Finding self-love was just one of the takeaways from this Comic-Con panel. But just as important to physical health is mental health, especially as social media plays a key role in both the fitness and cosplay communities. Social media can be a beautiful place. It can be truly a lovely place to connect. I met some of these people that are really good friends through social media, um, but it can also be a place where negativity comes from. And that's why it's so important to diversify your feed, to make sure that you're following people who don't look like you um, or who do look like you, <laughs> to basically you know, get a sense of, of what the world is actually like. I think in terms of framing goals, in terms of empowerment and not pressure, don't focus on failure at your predecessor, like, oh, I should, you know, lift 300 pounds because, like, I used to be able to lift this, now I can't do this anymore. Oh, well, I should work on this cosplay because I didn't get this other cosplay done and I'm a failure and I'm weak. You should frame it in the sense of mind of, like, I was able to accomplish something and now I'm going to accomplish something more. Being able to help people through the vein of being nerdy is what was empowering to me in general. You're, you're dressed as somebody else, but you're more yourself in that way, and that's what's empowering. For NBC New York, I'm Linda Gaudino.